only vlog week 63 guys today is monday and i still haven't heard anything back from the freaking house that we put the offer for it's so annoying it's been driving me up the wall every single weekend that goes by i'm like refreshing my email have to wait until monday i am the most impatient person that you guys will ever find when i want something i want it now i want to know the answer now so we're currently in the car at the moment i literally had like half an hour to do a quick beat of a makeup if you guys watched last week's vlog you guys will know that me and Graham actually put in an offer for a house that we viewed it's a new build property which is super exciting i love the idea of being the first ones inside of the house we finally got an email back good news and bad news the good news is they can do all of the requirements that we had for the house like we wanted built-in wardrobes we wanted them to fix a fence and we also wanted them to brick up a window and move a radiator so they said that they can do all of our requests which is a good thing the bad thing is they didn't come and meet us at the price that we wanted so we are on our way to go and view the property for the third time and this time we'll just go with me and Gran. The first time we went with my sister, the second time we went with my sister and my brother and this time it's just going to be me and Gran and we're just going to walk through it for the first time together and see what it would be like if me and Gran lived here. Can we see ourselves here in the future? We're going to park our car out and walk around the area properly and just like envision ourselves to see if we can actually see ourselves living in this area because I'm moving outside of London. I've lived in London my whole life. This is the only thing that I know so moving out into like a white posh privileged area I'm just like are we gonna be like the sore thumbs we actually have never viewed a house three times so this is a good sign that we are actually really serious about the property that we were viewing for the third time because all the other houses it's only ever gone to second viewing by the second viewing we're like no third time lucky guys third time lucky okay guys so we just viewed the property and we're just taking a little walk around the area just to kind of see what's around here in walking distance and there's like a massive park with tennis courts here there's actually a children's playground and then look at this look at all this field it'd be so nice for eventually when i don't know we want to ride our bikes around here or we have kids and look how big this park is it's huge i think this would be so nice when we want to have like a dog and walk our dog so we are home now and we have just sent off a counter offer to their counter offer of the counter offer it's our third <laughs> offer now it's called negotiating we're going back and forth and so bad because we're being like extra cheeky we're like oh can we also add this as well but also for a cheaper price twee's asking for a hundred and one things twee's pushing it real bad it's not me it's guang he's too scared to say anything i wanted to request all these things at the start and then guys like no wait for their counter offer and then we can ask them again and i listen to him this is why i don't listen to men i need to think for myself you put your tail between your legs and now i have to look like an idiot going back and forth requesting for more things when i could have just asked it in one go you it's really nice to see the space is really open and we had the discussion about where we're gonna put the sofa because it's an open plan living space it's really hard to decorate the space because it's a lot of just room there's just so much floor there there's radiators that are there so you kind of have to configurate the space where there's no walls and that's really hard to do i feel like we need like an interior design or sign and because of one of the amendments that we wanted is we want to move one of the radiators to another spot so we can put our tv up that's why we're already thinking about where we want to put the sofa where we want to put the coffee table because the tv is a very crucial point yeah in the living room. especially because this is just one open plan we don't have another room where we're going to mm. put a tv we want to make that wall like a feature wall we want to put like electric fireplace there i was saying to gran that i want my whole house to be a smart house i want smart toilets did you guys know there's smart toilets i want my toilet to sing to me bitch i want led lighting i want philip hue bulbs everywhere and today when we actually saw the property for the third time it was as nice as i remember it and also we went outside to the garden and the garden was so much bigger than what i remember mm. i was looking at photos of it i was like oh the garden's a good size but today when we went there i think they must have like moved things out of the way or there was less things in the garden today and i was like wow this space is actually so huge like we could really even extend the house in the future if we wanted to i feel like the house doesn't really need anything else the only thing is about this house that we are compromising on there's no study that's downstairs so we have to use a bedroom so that's a bit annoying because now we don't really have a guest bedroom we do have a guest bedroom but 
well, I don't have a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the walk-in wardrobe will be the guest bedroom, which is not what I wanted. The only way that I can have my dream house is to convert the loft that we showed you guys in last week's vlog, which the loft is huge. So we went up to the top floor and we measured it all out. It's actually 11 meters. So that's huge, guys. That room I can actually convert to my dream walk-in wardrobe filming room. And that's like my form of renovation. <laughs> to build my dream space up there and then that will free up two bedrooms downstairs and then we was also looking at the garden and we was like oh a summer house will look nice there and a hot tub will look good there and it's so nice actually trying to think about all the things you can do to the property there's another dilemma that we have right we have by folding doors going out of the garden the garden is like there's a big step there's a big step so now they built a little platform there and now we can visualise what the garden can be like. It gave us a bit more indication of how big the platform is going to be, where the steps are going to be. Yeah. The platform was way too small though. Yeah. We want a big patio and hardly any grass, but this one is a small patio with loads of grass. That's like another thing in our future that we can transform and hopefully show you guys along the process. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh my God, I look like a crazy tomato because I'm in the middle of filming a TikTok hacks video. Look at what I put myself through. Do I look crazy? Like a oh my god we just got back an email from our counter offer and they accepted it and they said they'll do all the things that we want them to do but there's a reservation fee of a thousand pounds what are we gonna do a thousand pounds what if we change our mind because i'm a crazy gemini and i'm like all over the place i'm so scatty i keep thinking one hour i'm like yes let's do it. the other hour, i'm like but what if there's other houses out there what are we gonna do Pam? what are we gonna do oh my god i'm in the middle of filming and i feel like my mind's all over the place you know when someone says okay we'll take it off now you're like oh shit okay did i even want to offer why i offered <laughs> it's like no takes these backsies now okay i need to get on the phone with my financial advisor my accountant i need to get all my finances in check and I'm like, oh, it's go time, baby! As you guys can see, I clearly have not even filmed anything yet. I don't know why I'm crying. Obviously, I'm so happy. But now everything has, like, confirmed. And I'm just like, oh, my God, did I make the right choice? I'm just so scared because it's such a big decision. And it's, like, so overwhelming because it's something I wanted my whole life. I just feel so overwhelmed. It's like everything that I wanted and it's like, can I upkeep this? Like, it's so much money. It's like such a big decision and then I second guess myself because it's like, really, I should just get a small little flat. What normal people do, think that I can afford all this and then realistically in a couple of years, like, is it all going to go away? And I want something and then I get scared and then I try to talk myself out of it. Honestly, these tears are like really happy, but really scared, overwhelmed tears because it's literally everything that I wanted and now that it's here, it's like, really? Is it really real? Like, I don't know why I can't wrap my head around it. Got this blusher technique. It's not really working, is it, guys? <laughs> and I need to carry on filming a YouTube video with these puffy ass eyes. Okay, guys, I am so sorry about that last clip. I literally was a crying, blubbering mess, but I just had like an amazing heart-to-heart -heart conversation with my friend Danny, and I'm just so grateful to have someone in my life that I can depend on. Like, that's what real friends are for, you know? Danny understands me, but he also has a different way of thinking as well, and he reminds myself that we are both not complacent people like we're so privileged to be in a position where we can even consider anything like this if we couldn't afford it then our financial advisors would say no we can't you know but it's possible and and we both know we're willing to put in the hard work we're not lazy people we want more from this life and we can do anything we put our mind to and i just feel like i could conquer the world right now like oh it's so crazy what just a good conversation and letting out your feelings and just changing your mindset it can all change everything i feel so much better now I'm actually going to go on a live with Danny, Layla and Gary. Work still continues, guys. I still need to film this YouTube video. I'm actually going to take off all my makeup and start again. That's why I put on some big glasses because my eyes have been crying and they're all puffy. This is the Gemini in me. One minute I'm crying, the next minute I'm like, I can do anything I set my mind to, bitch. I finished work, guys. It is currently 12 in the morning and I thought I'd just jump on it just to show you my makeup because I just literally put it on and now I'm going to have to take it off. I tried 
out so many amazing TikTok hacks. So this look will be up on Wednesday. I just wanted to say that I'm so proud of myself and I don't give myself enough credit, that's for sure. I had such a crazy morning. I felt like I was getting pulled left, right and centre. There was emails coming in, I had phone calls. And obviously, as you guys saw, I had a little breakdown. <laughs> and I was so tempted just to turn off the camera and film later on during the day and just go back into bed and just like reevaluate life. But I'm so proud of myself for carry on with the day, managing to tick everything off the checklist, even though it's so late at night now. It's a lot of pressure being the person that is bringing in the bacon. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just feel so happy, so grateful, so proud of myself. And all the times that I put myself down and I say that I'm not good enough or I don't deserve this, like I need to like slap myself because would I ever let my friend speak about herself in that way? No. Why the hell do I speak about myself in that way? Hopefully this little vlog inspires you to keep going, you know, even when you're feeling overwhelmed, you feel like you are not worth it, you feel like you can't do it. There's always so much more from life, you know, I feel like it's good to have big goals, it's good to be scared, that's the only time that you are ever going to grow when you're out of your comfort zone, when you're scared. I've worked hard to be where I am today and I'm not a person that, you know, splashes out on themselves, I'm not a materialistic person. This house is going to be the symbol of what I worked so hard for five years straight to achieve something like this. Pat on the back for me. I hope you're patting yourself on the back, even just for getting up, brushing your teeth, having a shower and just existing, you know, like this day and age, everything is just so hard to be happy these days. So if you are striving and you want more, you should be so happy and so proud of yourself. And I just hope that everyone gets to achieve their goals. How crazy is that by May or by June, I could be celebrating my 29th birthday in my own house like even saying that it's gonna get me going again guys i love you guys so much thank you so much for being with my crazy gemini ass self you guys are like my true friends i hope you know that good day y'all it's friday and i'm here looking like a wreck <laughs> honestly this week has been so crazy so many different kinds of emotions we literally just got off the phone to our accountant and trying to get all the numbers and all that kind of good boring stuff that i'm sure none of you guys care about all you guys want to see is the official house tour right trust me when that day comes oh i'm just gonna cry my eyes out because i feel like such a long way away this moment in time it feels like we need to get all our ducks in a row before anything can happen responsibilities we don't like them do being we? an adult is so hard the first step that we need to do today is to transfer over a reservation fee so that is to secure our house and then the developer has said that he wants a four week exchange which is quite typical in new builds apparently they always like want to get the money quick so we're trying to like find a solicitor we're trying to find a surveyor we also need to apply for the mortgage we already have our mortgage in principle and that seems to be good but when you actually go through the process they could reject you that is scary like imagine finding your dream house and then you actually can't get the mortgage and at the moment because everyone is buying so much and because of covid i think so uncertain that the bank interest rates are have gone up which is so annoying so now like, our monthly repayments are going to be more expensive so the banks are scared of a housing crash so that's why the interest rates are going up just so the banks can protect themselves but because it's fixed for two years you can always remortgage remortgage and you can always transfer your mortgage to another mortgage provider so that's your best interest to keep the rate lower and you wouldn't have to pay much interest so we do have a financial advisor who also is a mortgage broker as well so he handles all my pensions and stuff like that so he's the one that is currently trying to get myself a mortgage it is harder because we are like self-employed that's something to look out for if any of you guys are self-employed it might be harder and less banks will loan to you unfortunately which sucks because our income is just all over the place some months we can have really good months some months it'll be like so dry that we have to rely on last month's income and yeah it's just all over the place so if you earn like a normal nine to five job and both of you guys are earning if you're with a partner then that's like super easy you probably get your mortgage from loads of different people and get the cheapest rate my emails are going off but for us it does get tricky and it's really really scary obviously because it makes me feel like oh my god i am so scared what is up with my what emails is going today? on make Prepared. sure you are earning 
great for the niece three years. Yeah. Before you even start to think about buying a house. And also, like... make sure you try to get that deposit money. Yes. <laughs> that's the biggest boy. I feel like that's the bit where a lot of people get pulled back yeah. is from getting that money for the deposit. We was basically saying like, oh, we want to get a TV, we want to get a couch. And then I looked at how much a TV and a couch is. A couch alone is like three to five grand. And then a TV, <laughs> the one that we want is like, how much is that? Like three to five grand again. We need like a really big dining table because the dining table area is so big that we had to buy a freaking huge dining table. Otherwise, that'll look weird. And then I research how much dining tables are. They are like grand. And then I want to buy like a double American fridge as well. And, and that's a big hefty change as well. So I don't know. How we're gonna do this, we're gonna have to probably live literally with our crusty stools and sit yeah. on the floor for the next couple of months. Twee thinks it's just like an overnight thing where I can buy a TV, buy a couch, <laughs> buy a fridge, buy a table. It is very scary investing everything that you've been working for for the last couple of years into a property and now we're gonna be in debt for 35 years. We have a special guest. I just bought a new camera and the transformation, I was saying to myself, I look like a Barbie doll on that camera here i do look like the west wicked witch the wicked witch of the west <laughs> oh, i always get things wrong what is it when they say they're autistic or something you know when they jumble their words up dyslexic yes that's it do you think you are maybe i am i don't know my sister just bought a new camera and i really wanted that camera i really have this one and i spent like 1200 on this camera i know but it's old school now people come out of new technology it's time for you to upgrade and this is your career as well <laughs> the amateur have a better camera than the fucking pro anyways i wanted to tell you guys that me and my sister are planning to do another mystery bundle bag Yay! today is the 12th of march we need to mark that on our calendars because we're going to be putting in our reservation fee today oh! so we need to mark this on our calendar because i want to know when we officially get the keys and how long that process actually takes in six or even four weeks we can be having the keys and officially moving i'm so nervous i'm excited i can't wait for a fresh start i can't wait i feel like that would be like my 2021 just done right guys and now we're gonna send our money reserve our property ah! Confirm, sending, payment has been sent. Ah, it's official, babe. We just put down our reservation of our first home. We need to find a solicitor. We need to find a surveyor. Oh my God, there's like so many things we need to get done. It's all full steam ahead from here. So the next two steps are get legal stuff done, change your contracts. So you're just signing your life saying that, yes, I'm going to buy this now. And basically this is the time you cannot pull out. Cool. And... So me and my sister were decluttering this room all day today. We're literally so tired. It's like 9pm at night time. But it was a really productive day, especially for a Saturday. So along with decluttering, we also done a mystery bag and you have to thank me for that. Yeah, my sister was in charge of the mystery bundle bags. We said that we're going to try and do them more often because sometimes it gets so overwhelming. I get so many products. These are just spilling everywhere. So if you guys don't know what the mystery bundle bags are, it's basically a bag of amazing makeup. You get so much skincare. This time round is all about skincare a lot of lip products there's not much palettes there yeah but amazing expensive skincare and i feel that that is the right timing for that because obviously we're at home we're not wearing a lot of makeup and the key thing that you need to concentrate on is your skincare because when you're out of lockdown then you can start with the makeup if you guys are interested it's going to be uk only unfortunately i'm so sorry i feel like the last time we got international i had to pay so much custom fees and it was such a headache with dhl and stuff like that so unfortunately we're just going to keep it to the uk only but the link's going to be down below and on next week wednesday's video i'm going to be showing you guys the huge decluttering as well so make sure you stay tuned for that also on my channel we literally just filmed a little segment for your vlog yes well she's been contributing and supporting in my vlog all the way which i'm so thankful for we just done a little chit chat because you guys well my channel all the people there said that they love our little chit chat and it's getting to know us better basically you're part of the family and get to know us and we talked about our surgeries the surgeries that we regret and the surgeries that have been life-changing all the things that you guys want to know about surgery and our experiences and stuff like that we like to keep it 100 and keep it real with you guys we have tried things that we liked and some things that we would have changed and maybe wouldn't have done that if we knew that information this day so if you guys want to watch that video i'll leave the link down below head on over to my sister's channel she's vlogging every sunday as well and also guys i cannot believe 
believe that we have found the house. Like, that is such a big accomplishment. Oh, my God. I am so proud of you for doing this. And, you know, we've been looking for such a long time. And she was actually losing hope that anything she'll find something that she really wants oh. and i truly believe that this is the home for her yeah it has all the things that she's requested obviously no house is going to be perfect there's still some tweaks that she needs to make but it's so exciting she was going through the list of items that she need to purchase and everything things like knife and fork she has to buy and obviously i'm moving from my family home so that's all the stuff that I bought here, I'm going to give it to my mum. Yeah. But I'm going to buy everything brand new and fresh. And I just can't wait for the weeks ahead. I do feel like this is like crunch time now. This is go time. I think one thing that would be really interesting is because this is your first time experiencing buying your first home. We could do like a little video about the process of buying a first home. I think yeah. that's really interesting. And there's so many people, they don't know how to get on the property ladder. Yeah. And I think your first time experience would be very valuable for people out yes, there. Yes, especially buying a house during a pandemic is even harder because banks are not willing to loan as much and interest rates and all the stuff that I had no idea about like solicitors fees and surveying fees I literally am just starting that process right now so I'm gonna definitely be sharing that with you guys you guys know that I'm so open and the whole point of these vlogs is to show you guys the ups and downs at the moment it still hasn't sunk in that you purchased it yet but once she gets the key oh my god I'm so excited and she lives like 15 minutes away from me I know I I'm gonna be so round 24 7 I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys this house. It is actually a very simple house. There's not really much to show you because it's all open plan, but we have so many plans for this house. Like we can't wait to do the garden because the garden is massive. I can't wait to show you guys the loft conversion, which I'm planning to build my walk-in wardrobe and beauty studio, my dream, dream studio. And that's not going to be for a couple of years time, to be honest, because we need to like save up and get all our main furniture. But yeah. eventually when I get that dream, walking closet ah it's gonna be amazing i feel that i'm living through my sister because all the things that she planning to have i'm like i want that and i aspire to one day reach there and also i'm thinking it's so exciting when you have your own beauty room i'm thinking about i want to redo my house Ooh, because really? you're going through this process it gives you inspiration because you're like i want to experience all this as well so potentially yes, that'd be a good diy video i know Ooh. i can't wait to do the diy in your place is there any interior design that you recommend especially for open plan i feel like that's quite a hard room to dress up because you want to make the room flow but also have separate kind of nooks for everything mm. i really want to do a electric fireplace with the tv sunken into the wall with coves and led lighting like, i want to make this house like a smart home that's what i'm planning to do so. i think that's so exciting i can't wait to start this journey with you and congratulations so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I feel like this video was so exciting. When even we first looked at this house, I never even thought that this would be the one. It was something that we just viewed. Just because it popped out, we was like, oh, we're in the area anyways. Let's just have a little look at it. And... It turns out that it was all I good. can't believe that I got to experience that view because when you went to view it for the first time, all of us went to view it together. Always saying, I don't know when I will feel that this is the one. Yeah. And they do say that when you know, you know. We'll take you guys along the journey with us and do a lot of DIY projects. So welcome to Twee's new home soon. Ah! Thank you guys so much for all your kind, sweet comments. I know you guys are going to flood the love in the comments. So thank you guys so much in advance. And that's it for this week's vlog, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was a that long, was a long one. one. <laughs> Let's face the golden light. Yeah, ain't no fucking golden light. The They're shadowy. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally freaking out. I'm like in the middle of filming like 5 million TikToks, in the middle of filming a YouTube video, and then I just got this email and I was like, ah! Chanel, you are here to witness this moment. Like, you need to face the camera, girl. How are you gonna have your five moments of fame if you turn your back to the camera? Oh my God, I am an oily bitch. Oh, I can't wait to have my own dog one day. I want a dog literally like Chanel, but not a Pomeranian, because <laughs> they shed too much. But I want a loving dog like this that wants to be in your arms, that wants to be cuddled, that wants to be kissed, that wants to sleep with you. Spending time with my sister cleaning is not, I mean, it's... <laughs> Whatever time you get to spend with me is great, okay? <laughs> and I get a lot of freebies along the way, so I'm not complaining. Oh no, do you think I can film a YouTube video like this, guys? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, <laughs>